Hello, my name is Craig Phillips. I sustained an open skull fracture when I was 10 years old in 1967, which resulted in right frontal lobe damage, a severe brain bruise with brainstem involvement. I remained in a coma for three weeks. I also fractured my left femur or thigh bone. I remained in traction to set the femur for six to seven weeks and then was placed in a spica or full body cast, which I remained in for five to six months. In 1967, little was known about traumatic brain injury or about brain injury rehabilitation. Consequently, after my external wounds healed, the impact of my brain injury went invisible. By the grace of God, the encouragement from my mom, I learned how to walk again. I also was able to learn how to talk, read, write, and speak in complete sentences after the accident. I was tutored at home in the fifth grade and remained uh, at home during the fifth grade. I was then mainstreamed back into the sixth grade. I went on to graduate with my high school class in 1975. I applied to the University of Arizona and was accepted. To make a long story short and even shorter, it took me 10 years to get my undergraduate degree and three and a half years to get my graduate degree. Uh, it took me uh, two universities and one community college to get my undergraduate degree and two graduate schools to get my graduate degree. I have a master's degree in rehabilitation counseling. I also obtained my national credentials as a certified rehab counselor. Um, I had a long history of getting and both losing jobs, both non-professional and professional jobs, while well, working at the Department of Vocational Rehabilitation in Florida. I disclosed to my supervisor that I had sustained a brain injury when I was 10 years old in a motor vehicle accident. She disclosed to the manager of the office and the manager disclosed it to the district supervisor who in turn decided to make me a client of the Department of Vocational Rehabilitation there in Florida at the time while I was still a counselor. So I went through that process and I was, as a result, uh, I was terminated as a counselor because I had a difficult time uh, interpersonally with some things and also I had a difficult time writing individualized written re rehabilitation plans or IWRPs. Um, after uh, going through the process as a client there in Florida with the Department of Vocational Rehabilitation, they terminated me as a client because I they're of a bad, uh, poor job placement situation. Um, after I was fired, I tried to get several more jobs, which I did and was fired from those in Florida. And then I found out that North Carolina was rehab friendly. And uh, as a result, I sent up uh, cover letters and resumes and was recruited by a company to do workers' comp rehab. Four months later, after I uh, started the job, I was terminated. From that job, after I was terminated from that job, I tried to get other jobs. I then reapplied for uh, to the Department of Vocational Rehabilitation here in North Carolina, was accepted and went through the process. As a result of my evaluation process, my counselor deemed me to be unemployable. Uh, to backtrack, when I was in Florida, because of the uh, emotion, uh, the uh, financial insecurity and the jobs, getting and losing jobs, I applied for SSDI twice in Florida. However, I was denied both times. When I came to North Carolina, and because I was fired and had a difficult time getting jobs, I also applied for uh, SSDI the third time and after I was deemed to be unemployable and uh, the Department of um, uh, Social Security Disability de determined that I was disabled. So at the end of 1999 I started receiving SSDI. I was deemed to be unemployable and also declared disabled. Nevertheless I still had a desire to use what I had in ways that would work for me. I created Second Chance to Live after writing poems, an autobiography, a book, and then being encouraged by a friend to start Second Chance to Live, my blog, which I did in, on February 6, 19, uh, 2007. Since that time, I have written 2,000 and, 
uh, 72 articles, 459 video presentations, 12 ebooks, 41 posters, 20 slideshow presentations, and I've created 21 uh, keynote presentations which I've given around the country since June 2020. I've spoken 105 times around the country and will be speaking to five more um, locations. I'm going to be speaking this week to the MedStar National Rehabilitation Hospital in uh, Washington, D.C. Later in the month, I will be speaking to Penn Medicine in Philadelphia. Then I'll be speaking at a conference at the Columbia University next month, and also I'll be speaking to Cleveland Clinic that week, too. And more will be revealed as I'll be speaking at other locations. Anyway, I want to thank you for uh, listening to this presentation. Thank you so much, Jay, for allowing me to be part of your process and project there with the radio TV station. And I look forward to being of service. Before I go, let me uh, let you know my website is secondchancetolive.org. Again, that's secondchancetolive.org. And there, there's a link to resources and then my ebooks and my presentations on Second Chance to Live. Before I go, let me encourage you with this. Please do not give up on yourself, a loving God, or your process, because more will be revealed to you and to me with time. The pieces of the puzzle will come together in the correct order at the right time and in the right order. I'll say so long for now. God bless both you and your family, and have a super day. Thank you again for your time. Bye now.